set, having played Fox the entirety of the tournament, That's right? right? Because this is primarily, not primarily, but he ends up using Fox a lot in this particular matchup, even when he has the Falco going yeah. on most games. He did play one game of Falco against Axe for Game 5, but we might not see this here. It's Grand Finals of Super Smash Con 2022, Mango vs. Hbox. Oh my god. I can't believe we're seeing this Grand Finals. Now. Yeah, it is insane <laughs> to think we, about. We went into a time machine. Right out oh. the gates, it's a big rest from HBox. He's making a statement right from the jump, Fish. That's right, that's right. Coming from loser's side, Mango only has to win one set. How crazy would that be? All right, Mango again, just so precise on his movement. HBox wanted to slow down the tempo a little bit here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, Mango is the one that sent HBox to losers at this particular tournament, so HBox getting the run back here. Yeah, and again, Mango just playing so, so safely right now. Opting for the gun a lot more, I feel like, than we often see from him. Yeah, I think the really nice mix-up that it introduces is that whether he's going to be dashing in or dashing out after the gun, right? Is he going to be aggressive or uh, kind of passive? Because he does a lot of, like, single laser standing in place. Mm -hmm. Or not standing in place, but, like, single lasers are in place. And then he mixes that in between, like, single laser and then when right. he's going to be running in, like, see here? It's kind of ambiguous as to what he's going to be doing after the laser. And damn, so a shine up smash from Mango. This is a huge punish. Looks for all of it. Can't quite get there. Oh, reaching a little bit with that up smash, but not going to get punished for it. Oh, that's big. Getting the tech there is really big, but teching in place. HBox can still cover it because he's got the, like, the positioning to punish that kind of option. Yeah, a little bit of chip damage in from Mango gets like 5-7% off these lasers, and that adds up over time for sure. Big Nair off stage as HBox can't get much more. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting, though, lasering at this percent, because if you laser too, too much, then you might get the puff out of like up throw up air range. Right, right. So it's kind of like, do I want to keep lasering here, or do I want to keep uh, the up throw up air potential there on the board? High angle from Mango, as is expected, but HBox scouting it out from miles away. Stock lead going over to the puff. Yeah. I love these up airs that Mango's been doing throughout this entire tournament, right? It's it's such a nice option because it's also a little bit faster than the up smash and not as committal, but he misses, he misses the tech, the tech he misses again! The, you can't miss techs against puff. HBox has been so good at punishing uh, off these platform rests, platform uh, tech chase rests. Yeah, a shark in the water for sure. And I feel like given the sets that we've gotten of HBox so far, we haven't seen many rest setups, period. He's got a lot in the chamber ready to go. Yeah. That's been a, a big part of HBox's um, game plan recently. I feel like he's gotten a lot more tech chase rests on platforms in particular, right? His rest setups have definitely been mm -hmm. a lot better this year than prior years. Okay. Mango kind of mixing it up right here, but Jump was exhausted, and so is game one, not no, no, quite! No, 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 JK. <gasps> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That's, Unless? <laughs> oh, what? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a second. Finds the shield poke on that up air. Mango with a bit of tech of his own, but 98% means back air promotes edge guard. High angle and illusion. Mm. Turn around, grab. What's going to be the punish? Can't reach. Oh my god, I can't believe he fell down with back air like that. Oh, the, the DI! DI. The, what is happening here? <laughs> that DI was crazy. Puff's forward throw, actually, one of the few throws that you can actually smash DI. So, <laughs> one of the, I think it's the only one that you can smash DI, actually, but. That's crazy. You can see that DI go way H far out of Yeah, there. finding it, just yeeting Mango off yeah. the left side there. Takes first game right here. Needs two more to reset the bracket. Yeah. Here we go. Pokemon Stadium, the counter pick. It is not Yoshi's Vish. Yeah. And I think just with the way that Mango's been playing with the lasers in particular, it's a good counter pick option because he has the space to, again, is he going to be going in or not going in after the laser? And when you have, like, the spacing around it, the lasers do add up damage over time, right? Yeah, and I feel like we've seen this kind of movement pattern from Mango specifically, where he'll do dash and turn around. Almost like, it almost looks like a RAR that right. you would see in like Ultimate or something like that, where he can just turn around, have this like really strong facing hitbox against uh, HBox when he's playing horizontally in that space. But on the vertical side, he picks up an up smash and Mango takes the lead. And man, Mango's doing a good job DIing the up throw. But HBox not quite able to get the, the, get the edge guard there. Okay, chipping away with this laser. Hbox with the edge guard potential right here. He goes all the way out there. That is a freebie. Yeah. You can also see that Hbox, like, 
immediately starts jumping off stage, right, to get those kind of edge guards and to give himself as much time as possible mm -hmm. to potentially get the, the back air on those upbeats. Transformation coming through. This is actually going to be of benefit to Fox right here. Mm -hmm. We'll see if Mago can take advantage in this next minute. Trying to catch the puff on the descent here. We oh, can't. Oh, oh it's so get scrappy. It? Not quite, not quite. Oh, oh, the wall jump's coming out. Again, yeah, just so safe from both of these players right now. Not wanting to overextend. Bounce off the tree, saves HBox for now. Yeah. Oh, tries to do falling up air on the grab that HBox tried. That's really nice. Spot dodge into up smash. Yeah, expectation that HBox has been looking for grabs off of these hard knockdowns. Mango's just so ready for it now. He's maintaining this lead. Oh, man, hitting Tex against Puff as Fox is so huge in this matchup. The gangster laser as well. Oh, it might have been enough to kill, but SDI from HBox gets out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Oh, the those two outs. lasers! Those two lasers! They matter! <laughs> the lasers they matter. mattered! <laughs> Bish, these callouts have just been unbelievable from yeah. Mango so far. Mango Chance coming alive. Oh my goodness. As expected, HBox kind of needs to find this right here, but the drill Whoa. is going to give Mango big damage, not quite the stock. Yeah, going for drill into grab was brilliant there based on the, the DI that HBox was doing, not quite, but the next up air. Okay, recovery, Mango high again. We hit forward air, not going to do much, but HBox finds the back air off knockdown. Up air enough mm -hmm. to do it off the top. Yeah. HBox has been finding a lot of these up, uh, up airs off the top in a lot of the sets they've been playing recently. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, oh no! no! Oh, the pound was so smart there! But doesn't get Fox on that low, low part because you can't really see it on this stage either. So tough! He's swinging, looking for the Jigglypoke right there on the shield. Not quite going to get it. Tree maybe big trouble for oh, Mango. No way! Yeah, it uh, lo looked like a little bit too high, but HBox stock! HBox brings us the last dock. We are entering the clutch box zone. Oh, no. Could it be? Mango drifting all the way left, preventing the shield grab from happening. He has to play so safe. Uh, He's got uh, it! The taunt? Mango evens it up one and one, clutches that one out, shuts down the dream of a 2-0 for HBox, right. and now it's HBox's counterpick. The taunt was spicy. It was a little bit Ooh, spicy. I like it, I like it. I didn't think we were taunting out here today. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right. He's been getting a lot of those shine into up smashes, even in the winner's side set that they played. Yeah, and I do like the, the rationale behind it. It kind of gives space and almost allows for a free pair of lasers after that when mm -hmm. he confirms the hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Mango is just all the control right now. HBox just needs a single grab, though, to shut it all down. He's playing on fire. Oh, there oh, it is! is! Even with the, the roll away, HBox still was able to cover it. HBox taking some notes yeah. from other pups out yeah, here. He's yeah. bringing some new tech to the table. That's huge. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, the falling up airs have been so good and splicing in a little bit of these up smashes. Up the rest. Big though. rest. Yeah, Mango has to die off the side to try to get a punish. It's gonna be falling up air, make it two. Not bad, not bad. Probably the best punish you could get at that particular position. Yeah, and again, I think Mango a player we talk about so much. HBox, of course, playing Puff so good at drifting, but Mango's Fox makes it look like he's almost playing Puff as well. Right. He does these crazy drifts specifically <gasps> to the back of HBox's oh, shield, but it doesn't matter. Pair of rest. Is that going to kill? Yeah, I think so. Just barely enough to get the KO, even on Dreamland. But the rest have been coming out. Yeah, the Dreamline counterpick, maybe just like a foregone conclusion right here. HBox takes it, but Mango needs to fight his way back right now. Yeah, and again, <laughs> HBox with the lead. I'm going to go, go to the top platform. Even if, <laughs> even a character like Fox has to hard commit to really cover the top platform, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. But Fox can do it a lot faster than the other characters we've seen on stream today. So got to be a little bit careful if you're HBox. Okay, Mango looking for a little bit of aggression on this right platform. HBox not biting too, too much. Again, I love Mango's patience right now. He runs in, finds single hit, and then just goes back to the laser. Yeah. 
Actually, Tries I like I like the position that. Oh no, that DI was not the DI, but traded hit. Yeah, it's yeah, not no. going to be enough. Hbox going to go up two one in this set. Mm -hmm. One game away from the reset. Yeah. After such long, strenuous battles, Hbox is still out here contending with this fast Fox. Just like the, the differences in speed between the matchups that Hbox has had to play. Yeah. It's so crazy, right? Going from, from Peach, Marth, and now this speedy, speedy Fox. And Mango counterpicked FD. Oh. It's a new era. It's, it's a, a new, new era. Age. It's a new age. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no, no. That's huge. Oh, that act Fox's recovery miss. is not enough. No way. Yeah. Very critical miss input from Mango. Just starts off on a handicap right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonder if we're gonna see a reset off the back of that huge SD. Okay, shine spike. Nice oh. from Mango. Few jumps left in the tank. The drift is enough to get Hbox back though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the puff was just not low enough to really get shine spike in that particular position because of the pounds. Oh, that spacing was oh. insane. I think caught him trying to OMS attack there. Yeah, I think so. That was definitely a, a tech input that led to an air dodge. Okay, and just like that, Mango evens up the freebie he gave Hbox at the start of this game. Hbox is actually really good at mitigating some of the laser damage in some of these grounded positions, right? Between like, oh, up the oh, rest. Oh no. That's going to go off the top as well, so no punish. But Hbox does a good job like mitigating some of the laser damage by doing wave dashes in, wave dash out, shielding, power shielding some of it, you know? Yes, yes, for sure. Again, we've seen Mango down full stocks just like at the start of this game, so not out of wow. the realm of possibility right now. Mango with some pressure. Let's see how far he can take this. It's back to the gun. Big punish right here off the dash attack. Ooh, yeah. Just gets double nair there. Dash dance is keeping center stage. These trades, though, are really scary, especially if one of them ends up being a pound. It'll send you way off stage. A little aggressive right there with the up air. Mango looking for the up smash again, but not quite high enough percent to kill. There's the safe jab. What's the punish right here too far? That's tough, man. That's a really tough up throw up air to hit. Yeah, now we are approaching that kind of zone that you had mentioned earlier, Vish, of how does Mango find a kill? It looks like he's just looking for the raw back air. Yeah. Or falling. Falling up air seems to be uh, Mango's choice in a lot of these kind of positions as well. Because up smash is a little bit slow, but you know, you can threaten that up air even while in the air. Like that. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, Hbox just not giving him anything. The drift and DI in on that first forward air all but oh. guarantees the stop. Hbox taking the lead big time now. Yeah. Are we going to go to a reset? We're going to have set two here at SmashCon. Okay, laser's coming out. There you go. There. There's that falling up air. There it is. It starts with one. Mango with a bit of momentum behind him. Now, is it going to be enough to carry him through to a game five here? Yeah, trying to mitigate some of that laser damage as well. He knows he... Oh, uh, and no! That might be it. Not off There's the no top. DI. He's living. No punish, though. Yeah. Yeah, low enough percent to where even if you don't have the, the DI, you're still, still living there. So, another chance for Mango here. Okay, the laser damage starting to add up a little bit now. Staying just a little bit outside the back air range. Okay, patient play from Mango again. Doesn't want to give anything there. It starts, but he gets Ooh. back. How does he find ledge? He's back. Oh, the scary side feet. Is he going to get it? Okay, he's going to last it. stock. Last stock fish opportunity for Mango to force a game five. Uh -oh. Prevent the reset. Uh-oh. Oh, drill right into grab. Okay, that's a nice 40%. The Mango Chants are so loud. They're so live. Yeah, he's got momentum. Oh, weak hit Nair is yeah. so scary. Yeah, weak hit Nair is actually so nice there. He, he's, oh, the he's going to get out. It's no, not no, no, enough. No, no. He needed like two more lasers. No, the, oh, no, the back air sends the Opportunity stage. here. High angle again. Hbox doesn't go for a rest. Oh, what a the side illusion B. hits. What a crazy side B here. Okay, on shield. And he's falling up there. Mango brings this to game five. Game five, Mango wants to close it in one set. Yeah, he said, I've been here before. Yeah, <laughs> I've won SmashCon before twice. How about you, Hbox? Looking for the three peat, the ever faded three peat from Mango. We're in game five, set one of grand finals. Hbox needs it for the reset. That's right. I can't believe you made that comeback. That looked so difficult to mount, but wow. You never count out the kid.
That is rule number one. Rule number the one. Ten of commandments of Mango. <laughs> but we are up against the Church of H God. That's right. <laughs> okay, and we're back. Mango with the percent lead right now. Looking solid so far. And again, so disciplined. Yeah. Looking for up airs. He knows his kill options and he's going for them now. Yeah, and I like how grounded he's staying as well. Oh! No rest, no rest. Okay, gets the tech. At least you're not going to get a. A, a rest punish there on the platform. Okay, can't get antsy quite yet, because H-Box, again, just a killer when he finds those single openings. That's right. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, just... I like the platform movement from Mango! Oh, the pressure! And again, oh! this positioning so smart from Mango. He looks for these short hop up airs behind H-Box's shield. There's nothing the Puff can do in that position. You know, the side Bs for Mango have been brilliant. He's been doing like these side Bs onto stage as opposed to going to ledge and doing like the full length as well in their shortens. And it's been catching uh, H-Box off guard a little bit. Almost catches right there. Shine forces off stage right now. Big aerial might be enough to kill oh! him, but it's an up smash instead. Oh my god, Mango is three stocks away from doing the 3 peat at SmashCon. Okay, back to neutral. H-Box looking for one meaningful opening. It can be a bear, it can be a grab, it can be just about anything, but Mango's oh. off to the races. Oh my god, that looked so juicy. Great nice. angle. Mango goes ledge? Yeah, especially amidst all those side Bs to the stage, going to ledge there was really nice, because H-Box like, went all, to, all the way to center stage, you know, anticipating some on-stage recovery. Okay, yeah, and now an attacking option returning to stage as well. Mango just mixing up so oh! much. The charge is up smash. Where are you going, H-Box? The positioning before that up smash was so nice because it actually covered a lot of that platform even when H-Box rolled to the right. Again, going to ledge. Mango's crazy. Okay, reverse hit backer is going to be enough to stem the bleeding for now, but H-Box needs a little bit more than that. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh wow, that Off was throw. such that was such nice corner play from H Walk, just using the tiny little bit of stage he had left to get that grab. Absolutely, okay. Mango again just fishing right here. Horizontal movement has just been so on point. H Box running away to the ledge has to reset. Yeah. Oh, and the falling upper again! Oh. Now it's down to two. Two to go for Mango to close this one out. Third Smash Con win and deny H Box of a Smash Con of his own. That's right. Okay. Oh, and the slide up into the under the back here. This is such a nice percent. This could be oh! big. Oh my God! He gets the up smash after that. He's crazy. He's nuts. Oh, dude, the laser's right next to him as well. He's got such a handle on how H Box wants to kind of recover and back air through. Oh my goodness! These run up shields are also really nice for Mango. Oh, Ooh, nice little trick from H-Box, but it's not going to amount to too much more. Oh, yeah, dude. getting a little scared in shield. Yeah, I think he wanted to call it like a spot dodge there from H-Box. Dude, this is Mega playing so well. Oh, oh wait! He's, not, he's one stock away right now. Whoa. Last stock, Fish. Mega with so much momentum. H-Box cannot slow him down. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, and he misses the back air. H-Box flubbing a little bit on some of these edge guards. One more stock is right, Crowd. H-Box needs to get this one. Big edge guard opportunity. It's going to be traded hit, yeah. but even that kind of matters right now. Right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Laser. No, no, no shine up smash there, but still the percents are really building up. Oh, the Here we go. Okay, H-Box a little bit scared in shield oh, right now. And Mango hasn't gotten hit. Mango hasn't gotten hit. All the okay. momentum in the world, Vish. Mango just, it's his game to lose. Up uh, smash so oh, crucial. Oh, the double roll, oh, he gets it. Uh, oh, no, no, not yet, not yet. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Okay, big opportunity, he can't rest. That's all right. Up there enough to do it. It's Mango wins SmashCon 2022. Oh my god, from winner's side. They said it was a slump. They said Mango had fallen down, but they forgot the first commandment. Thou shalt not sleep. I'm the kid! Oh my goodness. He said, you gonna rank me number 11? Take How a one away you? from that. How dare you? How Drop dare you? Drop a one from that right now. The kid, the goat, the buster, chop that last one off. He's back! That's right. The three-time SmashCon champion, Mango, is back! Oh my goodness. Unbelievable.
yeah. unbelievable play from yeah. Cloud Nine's Mango. He came in ready to roll. He looked like he was going to win the tournament from the jump. Oh it was goodness. an insane run from Mango, and all from winners as yeah. well. Not dropping a set. Not, Not dropping, dropping a, set. a set. Two Mango. over H box. Insane, insane, and impressive play. <laughs> He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Oh my God! What a what a crazy grand finals. Yeah, Mango. No one knows this, but both of us just jumped out of our seats. As soon as <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Happened, so. <laughs> yeah, impressive stuff. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. Boy. We talked about HBox having adjustments here for the set, but it just was not enough for what Mango was right. bringing to the table here. Right. I mean, so so good. Mango had kind of the jiggly pokes on lock. He had so much kind of tricky movement here. The advancing back airs that he wants to go for. Just the callouts on these hard hits. Insane stuff. Mango, well-deserved first place and three-time Super Smash Con champion. That's so funny. He went from everyone thinking he dropped out of Smash Con to being potentially DQ'd out of his pool yeah, to winning the entire tournament. So for those of you at home who needed to know, Mango is indeed at Mango, Super Smash Con he is 2022. Here. He is he's here. here. I think he's here. I'm pretty sure he's here. He's here. I'm pretty sure he's here. Pretty sure he's here. There was like, there's like an article actually. Mango drops out of Smash Con <laughs> after being emotional at number 11. Yeah. No. <laughs> Incorrect. He actually Actually came here raging, ready to fight <laughs> everyone, really and play. he won the whole damn tournament. So. Oh man! My God! Yeah, very, very oh. great stuff. And that is gonna wrap up Melee Top Eight for Super Smash Con 2022. I believe that's, we are gonna get an interview. That's with right. In just a moment. Ooh, man! Actually, on the on the on the way here, you know, we we had had uh, the same flight, and I was also kind of surprised, like, oh, you know, I didn't realize you were coming here, and he was like, nah, I just. It's kind of fun to complain. <laughs> it's just, it's yeah. fun to complain. And then he was saying how, you know, after like the pandemic, he's surprised that more people aren't entering all the tournaments because we didn't get to play offline right. melee, you know, exactly. for, for like two years. So now he's itching to play regardless of anything else, regardless of rankings. He's still out here to play. What a what a competitor. Yeah. Mangos has like Through some the of the years. greatest competitive mentality of any player. Yeah. You know, just And they've both been here, Mango and Hungry Box been That's here right. from the beginning, man. Just yeah. kind of showing up, showing that they still have what it takes to yeah. be the best. Like no one ever was. That's right. Really yeah. impressive stuff. And of course, congratulations to Hungrybox for second place. But That's right. could not, not close the door on Mango today. Yeah, not going to get a SmashCon victory this year again. But Mango, again, three times winning SmashCon. That's, it's, that's it's impressive. Good. It's pretty good. That's impressive. Oh, man. What a, what a grand final. What a top I, I four. Like, what a yeah, crazy I'm top four. very shook from how bad it went, man. <laughs> what a oh crazy, my crazy top four. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, big thank you to all of you at home, of course, for tuning in yeah. and joining us with some great Melee. We're kind of, we're back. We're not we're kind back. of back. We're really back. You know, we're it's really awesome. back. We're completely back, especially seeing these two players in a grand finals in this stage of the tournament with so many hot newcomers, you know, paving the way and doing so well. Nostalgia. Vish. Definitely some nostalgia. Who would have thought that when we were getting uh, our coffee this morning, we were talking about, <laughs> we were talking hey, about maybe that. there's not a lot of storylines coming up here. We were going to get a no. Mango H-Box Grand Finals with the ultimate run back yeah. from Cloud9's Mango here. So cool. We've been proven wrong. We've been proven wrong. Oh, man. Dude, just the landscape of Melee is so interesting in 2022. Just a, there's so many people that could potentially win a major right now, you know? It's it's kind of crazy. I What was stuck in my head was what you told me earlier when I was saying in the interview with HBox how there's kind of like this triangle of counters for yeah. these players. Yeah, you just throw a Mango in there, Volcano. We're done. <laughs> yeah, you and it's erupting. You never know. <laughs> you never know with Mango. You never know with Mango. Yeah, so, yeah. so good. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching Super Smash Con 2022. Ooh. Oh, boy. That was... <laughs> Everyone is cheering. People are people are so happy in this venue right now. Oh my damn! Goodness. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I need a minute. Boy. Oh boy! Here he comes right now. Mango, the winner. Hey. How are we doing this? Uh, you want to take him? Is there? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Walt. Oh my goodness, dude. What up? Oh my god, after after so long, you're back. You're back. 
these little motherfuckers every time. <laughs> How many times does one man have to prove himself? They tell me I suck. I come out. I suck for a while. I'm always guaranteed, baby, to come back and win. That's so right. sick of these little shitters shitting on me. Like they've never done anything in their worthless lives. <laughs> so sick of them, dude. Aren't you sick of them? <laughs> you let them know. I let them know. Talk them, to him, Mango. Talk to him. They just sit there and act like I'm not gonna win again. Mango's always good. That's what is it? right. Uh, taxes, death, Mango winning a tournament. <laughs> I'll be 85. I'm winning a tournament before I go out. <laughs> fuck all of you. You know exactly who you are. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You little fuck. You got the best winner speeches of all time. It's so I gotta annoying. Say, I gotta yeah. do it all the time, dude. Oh my god. It's annoying. God. How you, many times? Been here for 17 years, 16 years. How many times will you have to prove yourself? It's just annoying at this point. Oh, yeah. I think I'll just retire. I'm gonna do the Armada. <laughs> Peace, bitches. It was also, also, wasn't it also at SmashCon? It was. <laughs> it's also at SmashCon. Except I didn't get confetti again. <laughs> it's my third SmashCon. How do I win three SmashCons? Not any confetti for me. I got you. I'm going home. I got you. I'm pissed. I got you. I got you, dude. I got you. I got you, bro. <laughs> yeah! Yay! He did it! <laughs> oh my oh, so goodness. Happy. Dude, especially, I mean, I was telling uh, telling the stream how we came on the same flight here together. Did you ex did you imagine this going, especially with like the recent ranking, did that add fuel to the fire coming into this tournament? Um. No, I think the rankings didn't really... I just was more mad about people not attending shit. I want people to attend everything. Yeah. And uh, I, I was definitely 11. I'm not going to sit here and say I wasn't 11. Did not have a first half. I'm not going to sit here and argue for myself. That's fair. But, um... Feeling good. I'm about yeah. to get fucked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to have a crazy stream so when you happy. get back. That crazy so stream happy. when you go back. How do you feel, uh, what's what's the, the mentality between the Fox versus the Falco going into these tournaments? Because you've been favoring the Fox even at Wave Dash and... Uh... Um, I want to go Fox against uh, everybody who isn't uh, Fox Fal Fox Falcon. I'm playing Falco no matter mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, funny enough, my Falco actually bailed me out this tournament. The unsung hero is Mangos Falco. Because I played Lunar Dust, three stock my Fox game one. Oh yeah. And then I won, I went Falco, I was like, you know what Fox, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Went Falco and I won the next three. Oh. And then I was game five against Axe. Falco, Falco the unsung hero, dude. He only won two games. Ooh. But he went two for two, did his job. The, the most crucial two games. Yeah, no, he. The most crucial two games. The only thing I'm sad about is I didn't get to play Zane, but mm -hmm. not everyone can make sick mango loser runs. It's hard. <laughs> it's hella hard. <laughs> it's hard. I, everyone acts like it's just normal, but. Is there a secret to the Mangos Losers runs? Is there something that's going on? What's the secret sauce between... The, I think once Zane tweeted, I'm going to win this tournament, I was like... Oh, yeah? That's not a good start to it. Oh, Although really? I love the mentality. Mm. But, like, you're also adding so much unnecessary pressure. That's how I see it. Right. But I think everyone takes it differently. Maybe you need that boost. For mm. me, I just stay quiet. 7-Eleven, I just said, fuck Nick England's cousin or whatever. <laughs> and then I won. So it, everyone's different. Everyone's different, I would yeah. never do that, though. I don't think I have. I'm just too sad, and then I don't give a fuck, and then I win. Yeah. There's like a different mentality you get on the loser side. Oh, man. Who are you most uh, afraid going into this tournament to play against? Anyone that... Every like ten people ranked above me, and they all got it. <laughs> Not dropping a set. Not nope. dropping a set. Do you think you're going to go Fox from here on out, or is the Falco going to make an appearance somewhere down I want the line? Falco to be like my ace in the pocket. Like, if I need him for one game, an FD game... Mm -hmm. Against ICs, I needed them. Against Axe, I just got four stock. I was like, I need a pace to change, mm -hmm. change pace. So I want Falco to just come in and wham it. That's fair. I also didn't play any Falcos or Falcons. Mm -hmm. So that kind of helped. I'd have to warm up Falco at all. Right, right. What do you think has been the big difference between like the last few sets you've had with HBox versus this tournament? Because he was kind of. I got sick of his shit. <laughs> Is there anything in particular that you kind of worked no, in? No, you got sick of them. <laughs> Sometimes you get sick of HBox, and, and then you just say, you know what, you want to play a five-minute game, six-minute game? I invented playing five, six-minute games. Hey. That's me. That's right. You were doing a lot more lasers. You were a lot more like no, standing like, back and not I'm running like, in. He, I, think he, I think he fucked me up game one, and the two games he beat me destroyed me, right. I think, off the top of my head. Right. And I was just like, all right, you want to play... Because then it just becomes who's smarter. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. I'm way smarter than HBox. <laughs> I'm not, gonna, I'm not, not because I won, but eh, I'm not trying to show them. We, you know, we're, it was a good set, but like, I can just big brain. And I was like, you know what? I'm just never gonna approach after he like grabbed me up there, rest me on the platform. I'm like, right. I'm never going again. Right. And then I think after that, I did the sick thing was the FD game. I don't know if I was down three socks to one, but yeah, that was a big. Comeback. I played pretty much perfect. I think I didn't give him much openings. 
And also, you uh, you haven't been counterpicking Yoshi's as much. You've been going more stadium. Nah, because when I'm the... on Yoshi's, I just want to run at a motherfucker's right, face. Right, exactly, exactly. Like, with the Marshawn Lynch, but against Lawd, it almost backfired. I was down four to two, and then I just four stocked him. Yeah. I think he got. I felt he got nervous when he. Uh, it was one of the stocks. He did something that like I've been playing for so long. He did like a really bad jump or something. I'm like. Ah, uh, you're scared to close, and I was like, right. I'm gonna just gonna play. I'm not even gonna camp you. I'm just gonna run at you, and I think the pressure will be too much. Dang. And then I took four to two. Dang. What's the next tournament you're gonna go to? Uh, I think I'm gonna sit at home for a while, just uh, mind my business. Oh, no, okay. I'll probably go to shine. Go to shine. I'm okay. not a fucking little wiener. Fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to shine. Man, win or lose, you definitely go to all the tournaments. That's badass. That's Unless I just get the biggest sub train at home, then I'll sit at home and be annoying the whole time. Yeah. But I. I want to go to Shine. I'll be at Shine. And you were talking about how like it, it, it's like a it's a money investment for you to go to these tournaments because you end up losing some subs and whatnot. Right? Well, no, I got Joey working for me now. Oh, that's right. Oh, Joey's Joey over got there. like four or five hundred subs. All well. Joey, turn the stream on. <laughs> what are you doing, you dumb fuck? Turn, turn it on, please. Oh man. Well, anyone else you want to shout out before we uh, end uh, this interview? Shots Cloud Nine. They just gave me the fattiest raise. Deserved, apparently. I see. Ranked eleventh. I'm the highest paid melee player, and now I won. So now it's like. It all comes yes, together. Sir. All comes together. Let's go C9. I love C9. Um, I'm gonna go get blackout drunk. It's been a while. <laughs> and I'll see you guys at home. Yeah. Thanks so much, man. Congrats. That was sick. <laughs> that was sick. Oh my goodness. Well, it's gonna get back on with you. Okay. What a badass. <laughs> no, I mean, I just... Never won a trophy in your life, bitch. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I, I, I hope that was muted. Was it muted? Did I don't that... know how that interview went, but I heard a lot of things happening oh, there. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I think he used the entirety of all the the sensors that we could have good, on this match. Yeah, <laughs> just exhausted it all. Sorry, Ultimate. <laughs> but, uh, um, I did want to come back. Uh, production did just give us a note that we are actually the highest concurrent viewers for Melee of this year. So Ooh. we do want to give a big thank you to everyone at home who chose to tune in and watch with us tonight. What a tournament for us to come back. Yeah. Oh, my God. And what a amazing top eight to, to have that kind of attendance for. You yeah. know, I think HBox, Mango, and Grand Finals, it'll attract some viewers. It will. It'll it will. attract some it. viewers, won't it? It's pretty good. But guys, that's going to do it for us on Top 8. Vish, absolute pleasure. Always a pleasure. You. Thank Always you so pleasure. much for no. having me. No, th and the thank you. <laughs> thank you. That was awesome. That was so, a lot of fun so much guess. fun. We are going to be right back with Ultimate Top 8 coming at you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Turned Down for Walt. I have been joined by the illustrious Vicious Vish. We'll be back in just a moment for Ultimate Top 8, but first, a message from Rushdown Revolt. Thanks for watching. <laughs>